Imagine you would go for a holiday and would own a GoPro, an entry-level DSLR and an iPhone, or another smartphone with a decent camera. It's obvious that each device has its pros and cons, but the question is, which one should you use as your main video camera for a sightseeing landscape or just for filming your kids playing? So which camera is the best all-rounder? In this video, I will try to answer this question. The GoPro Hero 5 Black. It has the same sensor as the GoPro Hero 4 Black. One of the biggest differences is that GoPro added image stabilization on the Hero 5 Black. The footage for this video was shot in 2.7K and 60fps. 4K doesn't support image stabilization. The price of the Hero 5 Black is $400. The iPhone 6. The second competitor is the now 2 year old iPhone 6. It is still a very good camera for a smartphone, but it's only able to shoot in 1080p. You can get the certified refurbished version for about $300 now. The Canon T2i 550D with Magic Lantern installed. You can get the used version for about $300. As you can see, these are three completely different cameras, but you can purchase them for a similar price. I will compare the three cameras in four different disciplines. Landscape, typical sightseeing situations, people, action, animals and low light. Please keep in mind that this is not a scientific test, but a real world comparison. So enjoy the next few minutes with the footage from these three cameras and please write your personal opinion in the comments. At the end of the video, I will tell you what I personally think of the results. So have fun! I found it really difficult to get things in focus with my old Canon DSLR. Especially the landscape and sightseeing footage has a soft look and had to be sharpened in post. In low light the Canon creates probably the best looking footage though, and the shallow depth of field gives your videos a cinematic look. As overall solution the Canon comes in third place. Between the iPhone and the GoPro I personally prefer the footage from the GoPro. I like the wide angle and even if this video was rendered in 1080p the GoPro footage looks still sharper and crisper. The GoPro has its weaknesses though. It's not really well suited for low light situations and close ups. Please write your personal opinion in the comments. Enjoy your life and have a nice day.